find any place that's not, that's not touched. That was the place I place, plate I took to Buffalo's house. I even sent a lance couple to go and bring that plate. We went to Buffalo's house. I touched the fish three times. The fourth one, when I put it in, I took a different order and I put it out. That is where I caught this stomach problem until a day, two days after that, I was you know, operated. From that night, I couldn't have peace. Friday, what do you think Saturday, happened? Sunday. What do you think happened? I was poisoned, I suspected. That plate was poisoned. But somebody informed me after consuming the plate that Sana has changed his you know, ghetto to the officer's mess. He wanted to inform me that I should not allow my plate to be delaying there because this boy is a bad man. He can put anything for you in the plate. Since he was aware of our primary problem. But then... Already, I have eaten this plate. You know, so this is what led me to operation. And uh, a surprising situation also happened. Four days after my surgery, the doctor who treated me, I will thank him very much for saving my life. But I, he raised suspicion in my side as to his knowledge of this assassination. That was Dr. Tony. Four days after the surgery. He advised me that patient is strong, patient can take bath. I said, Could you say again? After four days, he said, patient is strong, patient can take bath. I said, take bath, pour water on my head. He said, yes. Then I said inside me, in my own thoughts, that you are late. If you have just got into this operation, the operation has reached you now, you would have finished me at the surgery. But now that I am on my bed, no, you cannot. Because since a day after my surgery, I advised my runner to go for my pistol. He brought my pistol, I cocked my pistol, put it in a nylon bag. I was lying down in the hospital with that pistol because I suspected that somebody might come to finish me. This is why when I was discharged from the hospital, I was able to go home with my firearm. I wouldn't have gone home with a firearm until my time of arrest. And a few days later, what happened? Few days later, I was discharged. Six days later, after that, and then, and then on the 19th, there was this economic activity. The impasse was tense. Yeah, Jamie yeah, lost elections. You lose the elections on the first December, I think. <laughs> and then it was Fankung Fankung. Yes, if you call it from Kung Fang, I will call it Sulawan Jambadong. <laughs> I do not know that one, definitely. <laughs> could, you, could you translate that? But after all this, Council, uh, we, have talking, we have spoken about the down settings in my performance. I have got areas in which I have also performed better to the interest of the people. If I am given the floor, I think I will. So after, soon after your Jame fell from power, you were arrested? Yes, sir. And uh, you are here? Before that arrest, I have received many loved ones advice that leave the country. I said, I'm not going to leave. One of them even told, asked me, why? It's like you are waiting for your job. I said, yes. It means you love your, uh, you love your job. I said, why do you ask? He said, because you must love your job in order to be able to do your utmost. I said, no, in my institution, it is unfortunate. That is not the law. It is a must to obey the order. So he said, I must leave. I said, no, I am not going to leave. He said, why? I said, because I don't want to betray my oath and I will not betray my people. He said, I, you are going to be right. I said, I have seen it in the net, internet. Well, yeah. Malik, let's call a spade a spade. You have betrayed your oath to protect the people. I have not betrayed my oath. I was misled, sir. All it being misled, you would have a chance to, to explain that. But nonetheless, you were killing innocent civilians, correct? That happened. They were unarmed, correct? They were unarmed, correct. 
how you dealt with them was not a procedure established by law, correct? Correct, but I have informed you that I'm not a legal mind. Yes, but you knew fully well that what you were doing was unlawful. That is why I left. But you knew it was unlawful. Prior to doing it, I was not, I didn't know it. But when I knew that something wrong was taking place, was the time I Knowing it. whether it was justified and knowing whether it was lawful are completely different things. You knew it was unlawful. Now, where I got it all wrong was, where I, myself, I got lost, was when they mentioned a rebellion was cooking to be had. They were able to convince me. Malik, you know as a soldier that you have no right to kill somebody who is not fighting. At that age, as a lance corporal, I'm telling you, if you put this question to many subordinate soldiers today, that is why, in my conclusion, I have mentioned that the legal awareness of the soldier should be raised. Uh, Malik, you, you do not even have to have training to know that you do not have a right to have a person handcuffed and you shoot the person at point-blank range without any lawful authority. Sir, but look at the circumstances surrounding that. Uh, you are to do it. Or you, if you don't do it, somebody will do it and you will be done. But that has never happened, has it? Like? Do you know somebody who's been killed for not doing, for not implementing the order? When directors of NIA could be put into, you know, uh, assassination, when you don't know why he is even brought and the reasons. Look, Daba Marena. Yes. Anko, you were there. I Correct. was there. You did not take part? I did not take part. Jeng did not take part? Nyabali did not Nyabali take part. Nyabali did not take part? Yes. None of them was killed? Daba Marena was not killed? No. I'm, I am saying that when Daba Marena and six others were brought for execution, you were there. Correct? Yes. You did not take part? Yes. Jeng did not take part. Yes. Nyabali did not take part. Yes. Others carried out the dirty job. Yes, sir. Nothing happened to you. I am telling you that these boys followed my footsteps when I resisted, and that was a time I have chosen that I will not do this, this long job anymore. What I am driving at is from the first one. Yes, you but look at what happened at the end of the day. I would have died. From the first one, you should have stopped. You didn't. The second one, you should have stopped. You didn't. The third one, you should have stopped. You didn't. The fourth one, you should have stopped. You didn't. In the, in the, in the, in the presence of that order, that rebellion, and the, in the face of the command and the men who are ready to do the job. Do you really regret what I you have done? I completely regret. And if I did not regret, I would not have repented. There is no meaningful repentance without regret, Fal. Uh, I'm sorry to call you by your surname. It's all right. I can leave with that. Thank you very much. Uh, you can you can wear your 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 your, your how do you call it? Your there heart. is no meaningful repentance without regret. Yes, but, it is regret that will lead you to repentance. But I also want you to understand and accept that what you have done was wrong, and you knew it was I wrong. I deeply accepted that. Deep in my heart, I'm totally traumatized. And that's why I told you that even my people sometimes, at a point in time, claim that I was short-tempered. I was not temp short-tempered. Something was getting me to that. I was traumatized. You accept what you did was wrong? Totally wrong. You accept it was illegal? Completely illegal. And you knew it was illegal? Then I will not be able to tell you I knew it was illegal. Was it, was, because under, of the, under pressure. was it because of the weed or the pressure? Initially, I was under pressure, and with these influences of this, you know, criticism I told you before, you would not see until you are cleared out of the criticism. Uh, Mr. Chair, I have no further questions. Thank you for answering my questions. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Council, and uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Yata. Uh, for your testimony and uh, for coming to confess some to uh, violations of human rights and abuses that uh, you had committed and uh, the ones that you had seen. Council uh, or Commission members, if you have any questions, please proceed. Uh, Commissioner Samba, you have the floor, please. 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. I want to ask a question. Nongo, when Nongo was shot, uh, I didn't hear where you say that it was buried. So I wanted to know 